All right, what's up, YouTube? So today I decided let's do a. I went to the store, got some of these. Focus on that, please. Come on, camera. Good job. Some micro crankbaits. It's cloud cover, post spawn crappie fishing. Yes, there's a road right behind me. It's kind of making me angry. But today, we're gonna be throwing something like that to get some of these post spawn crappie. I'm throwing a seven foot six spinning rod. It's an ACC crappie stick spinning rod. Six pound mono and a 2,000 size reel. You probably drop down to the 1,000 size reel if you want. And what you might want to do, throw in a crankbait, uh, probably some braid, like four, six pound braid, something with a two pound diameter or two pound monofilament diameter equivalent. So let's get set up on these deeper weed lines, 10 to 12 feet of water. Throw this, this is a six foot diver by the way, and uh, let's put some slabs in the boat, shall we? Let's go. Micro crankbait, here we go. This is the one I tied on. It's a light blue, white, yellow. It's a shad pattern, kind of a shad pattern. I don't know, maybe a bluegill pattern. Something like that. Ooh, there's a big school of them down there too. I'm just gonna throw the anchor down. Throw the anchor down right now. Ooh. Hot, 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 hot. Anchor road's hot. Ooh, that was hot. Okay. Forgot to charge my trolling motor battery, so I only got like 70% and I'm gonna be out here a while. Apologies for the wind, we're gonna deal with it. But there are fish out there. They're somewhere, we're, we're in a cast. Got the seven foot six setup. Wow, casting in the wind is, is fun. I'm gonna crank that up. Probably gonna have to keep this pretty low. I don't know how deep this is gonna dive. On the package it said two to six feet, which is a fairly big range. So we'll see. Hmm. Hooks are sticking together. Not a fan so far of this crankbait. It's only been two casts, two and a half casts. Got something. Oh, it's a bass. Well, kinda knew that was gonna happen. Oh, we let it go. Oh, got one right there. I accidentally shut the camera off and I got one. Oh, dang, it's probably a bass. Yeah, that's a, oh, what is that? Oh no, wow, that's a giant crappie. Wow, that's a nice crappie. Yes. That's a good crappie, holy smokes. Well, not a giant, but that is a solid crappie. There we go. First one. Boom. What is this? It's a solid 12 and a quarter right there. Boom. Yes. I knew they were in here. So one nice crappie found the school or found one. That was a solid 12 and a quarter. Let's see if we can get, uh... I got him on the pause. I was reeling and he paused a little bit and I just kind of pulled it and he was on. Just like that, right there. I think I just found the school. Yup, I did. I don't think he's that big. No, he's a solid 10 inch fish. Cheap Walmart micro lure right there. That's awesome. Ah, he's a little shy of 10. Nine and a half, nine and a half right there. See if we can get something bigger than 12. 12 and a quarter. So we're looking for 12 and a half, 12, 12 three quarter, 13. Pretty much anything bigger, bigger than 12 and a quarter. You, you guys can do math and stuff, so I don't need to do it. Just pulled it, let it let it float up a little bit. Not quite like a jerk bait. I'm not really jerking it. I'm just kind of pulling it, letting it suspend and reeling up the slack and then Boom, just like that. This is crazy. Oh, that's another good crappie. Wow, this guy's fighting like a bass, but he's not a bass. He's just a good crappie. Uh, I don't think he's gonna beat our 12, but I think he's a solid 10 and a half. Uh, I take that back, he's a solid 10. 
solid 10 inch fish. I don't even know if I'm gonna tie on different, a different lure here. I kinda wanna try them, but it's just too fun catching these fish. I just looked at my GoPro. I caught a fish. I caught three fish right there, or two or two or three fish in less than two minutes. And right, I'll, I'll kind of go through what I'm fishing here. This is a small bay, and I'm oh, there's a fish right there. And I'm right on the edge of a, a not quite a deep drop off, but it goes from about five feet to. Did he let go? I think he let go. That felt like a fish. Five feet to about 13 feet. And there's a weed line that, that comes at about eight to 10. And I'm just kind of bringing this lure right off the weed line. These are post-spawn fish. If you guys are down south watching this, you're probably in mid-summer or late summer by now. Uh, this far north in Wisconsin. We're about a month behind you guys. That's okay. You, just can, you can use some of this stuff for next year. Oh, and I just snapped it. Well, let's go get it. All right, I tied on to a different rod here. I mean, it's the same rod setup. Seven and a half foot casting rod. Only this reel has six pound mono on it. I'm thinking with these crankbaits, I probably should have a rod or a reel tied up with braid. Something light, you know, four, six, maybe eight pound braid, nothing too heavy. I know that there's some like nano braid out there that's basically the same diameter of two pound test mono. So I don't know, but I had to go get this cause it snapped off. So I had to go over and pick it up and I kind of got set up in a little shallower water, which is fine. The fish I was catching, I was actually casting this way, but now I'm going to be casting off this side of the boat, a little deeper water. I think a couple things that are helping me right now, wind, it's a little choppy. I don't know if I'd be throwing these on a sunny day and these crappie are definitely in post spawn mode. So they're, they're right on these weed edges. I'm actually right on top of the weed line. I think this says I'm probably in about, I'm about eight feet of water and those crappie I was catching were probably 10 to 10 to 11 feet. Let's try right, right out in front. Ugh. Got a crap load of slack in the wind there. Oh. There's a fish. There's a fish. And that might be a bass. Unless it's a nice crappie. And it is a nice crappie, yes. Found him. Found him. I can't believe these micro crank or these small crankbaits are just crushing them right now. Got another nice crappie right there. Got bass blowing up on top. Fish are just hungry. It was storming all morning. Finally got a, that's a good fish. That is a good fish right there. He's just shy of 12. He's like 11 and seven ace. Good fish. Yes. Pull it down a couple times to get it deep and then I, he hit it as soon as I stopped the bait. Just right there. They're right in front of the boat. This is a little guy though. That's a baby crappie. Baby. School moved. Oh, there he is. I just, he came up, oh, that might be a bass, maybe? Unless it's a really nice, yeah, this might be a bass. Unless it's a really big crappie, because this guy ain't moving. Oh my goodness, this guy's not moving. What's going on? Or, what is that? Yeah, it's a bass. Baby smallmouth, or largemouth. That's like a 12 inch fish. That was a weird sound. I don't know why I made that sound. That was just weird. It might be why the crappie moved. It's 
good to note. Well, that just happened. Apparently you gotta remember to, uh, well, not hook the, uh, the anchor rope for first starters. What is going on here? You know, I'm trying to wrap a video up and your rod comes flying off. That was my fault, by the way. That's not the rod's fault. You gotta assemble your rods right before you put them in the boat. See, it goes, it goes in the slot. Oh, had too many Red Bulls. Hurting a little bit right now. Okay, there we go. You gotta assemble your rods correctly, okay? Otherwise, they'll fly off in the water. It's not the rod's fault, it's my fault. Oh, there's a fish, there we go. Come on, be the last one. Oh, don't be a bass. Don't be a bass. And it's a bass and he's side hooked. Oh, I did hook him in the mouth. All right, so that's gonna wrap up the uh, micro crankbait challenge. Challenge complete. Got two 12 inch crappie, a bunch of other ones, you know, seven to 10 inches. That is a nice crappie on the micro crankbait right there. Boom! So I appreciate you watching. Be sure to like and share this video. If you're not a subscriber, below the video red subscribe button, be sure to click that bell. I've got some comments saying you're not seeing my videos. You gotta click the bell, okay? Apparently YouTube, if you're subscribed, it doesn't mean anything anymore. You gotta click the bell. That way, every time I post a video, you get notified. All right, and if that doesn't work for you, at the end of the video, you'll see my face holding the crappie. Not as big as this one, but uh, you can click on that to subscribe as well. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you.